Welcome to Investigation Video Editor. This video tutorial will walk you through exactly how to add video for multiple cameras, make sure the videos from those cameras are synced, take pics from that video, simple editing techniques, and exporting. Let's get started. The best method to ensure a successful project is to create a master folder on your computer for which to add all of the surveillance video to from all of the different cameras that were used on surveillance. In this master folder, we will save the IVE project, pics, and the final export. When working within IVE, it is best to add video from the computer. It is not recommended to add video into a project from an external device, such as a camera. I already created a master project for this surveillance file on my desktop and labeled it Smith, one, two, three, four. Two cameras were used on surveillance for the Smith file, a primary handheld one and an internal covert camera. Therefore, I created a folder for each of those cameras and to keep it simple, I labeled them one and two. If other investigators worked on this file and three, four, or five other cameras were used during surveillance, I would create folders for all of those cameras in this location as well. From my primary camera, I transferred all of the video for the Smith file into the one folder. I then transferred all of the video from my covert camera into the two folder. Now that all of the surveillance videos are transferred from the cameras and present on the computer, let's open IVE. Within IVE, the same concept applies. You will need to create the same amount of camera folders to match the number of cameras that were used on surveillance. As a default, a camera one folder is already present. And as I used two cameras for the Smith file, I need to create another one. So I press the add folder button and there is the camera two folder. If three, four, or five different cameras were used, I would create the same amount of camera folders in IVE to match the number of cameras. Now we must add the video from the two cameras into the appropriate folders within IVE. To keep it simple, I will add the video from the one folder into the camera one folder in IVE and the video from the two folder into the camera two folder within IVE. There are two methods for importing video into IVE. For camera one, I will demonstrate using the add files option. This method allows you to select individual video clips from a folder and add them into a project. To do this, I click the add files button at the bottom of the camera one column, find the Smith one folder on my desktop, and select only the video clips I wish to add into the project. Click open, and there they are, processing for camera one. For the second camera, I'm going to use the add folder option. This method allows you to easily add the video contents of an entire folder. At the bottom of the column for camera two, I select the add folder button. And when you're using this option, video clips will not show and folders appear empty. This is because IVE is just searching for folders and not files. You just need to highlight the folder, not open it, and press the select folder button. And there. All of the video contents that were in folder 2 are now added to the project. Now that all of the video is processing, I'm going to save the IVE project within the Smith master folder. I'm saving the project in this folder for a few reasons. One reason being that if I ever had to reopen this project, IVE would open with all of the video in the correct camera folders. The other reason is that we are going to capture pictures from the video during the editing process and IVE will automatically create a folder and save those pics in that folder 
in the location where the project has been saved. I am now going to pause the tutorial video while the video is processed. All of the video has processed successfully. We must make sure that the video from both cameras are lined up correctly in the project. To do this, I'm going to check that the video from the covert camera is in the right place. I find the first clip from the covert camera in the real section. I then go back one video clip and I see that that is a video clip of my subject walking into a store. The next clip is the covert clip within the store so I know that they are lined up correctly. If they were not lined up correctly, I would have to adjust the time from one of the cameras so that they were. There is another IBE tutorial video on how to sync your video. There are a few purposes as to why you should add the video from one camera into its own folder within IBE. One of them being that some video already has the timestamp on it. If this is the case, the one that IVE provides is not required and needs to be removed. To do this, simply uncheck the TS box for that camera folder. This will leave the timestamp on for the other video that requires it and remove it for the video that does not. Let's begin editing the project. To quickly remove entire video clips from the project, simply click the X in the top right corner of the video clip in the Reels section. If you accidentally remove one, just hit the undo button and the clip will reappear back in the project. The simple editing technique for IVE is to use the mouse to pull the icon through the skim bar at your desired speed so that you can view the entire video clip quickly searching for sections you want to remove. With your keyboard hand, use the S button to step backwards frame by frame or the F button to step forward frame by frame. These buttons will help you find the exact spot you wish to split the video or take a picture. The A button will split the video and the E button is used to capture a picture. When you find a spot you wish to take a picture, hit the E button and a frame is saved to the same location as the project. As I mentioned before, IVE will create a folder labeled IVE pictures in that location and save the pictures within. The video taken on the primary camera looks good. However, there are sections of the covert video I want to remove. For the first covert clip at the beginning, there is a section of the video where the subject is not observed and I need to isolate it and remove it from the project. I will use the skim bar, searching for the subject, and then using the S and F buttons, I will find the exact frame to split the video at and isolate the unwanted section. Watch the video clip in the real section as I hit the A button and split it. I can now delete the first portion of the video clip that contains the section I do not want. I continue to pull through the video, watching the portion I now wish to keep in the project, looking to see if there's another section I want to remove. As the camera pans away from the subject, I wish to split the video at this point and remove any section where they are not in view. Using the S and F buttons to find the exact frame, and then hitting the A button to split the video at that point. I search through the rest of the video clip, making sure there is no other sections I wish to use, and as there are none, 
I removed that portion from the project. For the second covert clip, it again starts off with a section I wish to remove. I pull through the video and then use the S and F buttons to find the exact frame at the end of the unwanted section. I hit A, split the video clip, and delete the unwanted section from the project. I continue to pull through the video now that I wish to keep in the project. Stop to take a pic with the E button, and then continue to pull through. As my subject disappears around a corner, I split the video clip, search through the remaining part to see if there is any video to be used, and as there is not, I delete it from the project. The final covert clip again starts with a section I want to remove. Using the S and F buttons to find the exact frame, split with the A button, remove that section from the project, and as the rest of that video clip looks good, no more splits. Continuing through the project, removing unwanted video clips, and making sure none of the remaining ones have any sections that need to be removed. Okay, I am satisfied with this project. The video from the two cameras are synced. The timestamp is correct for both cameras. I removed all of the unneeded clips from the project, cut out the unwanted sections of the video, and took pics. It is now time to export. Hit the export project button at the top of the screen. A window will appear reminding you to remove the timestamp from the video that does not require it. We did that so we can proceed to the export option window. The default settings for an exported project are MP4 format, full HD, and the location is where you saved the IVE project. Once you click the Start Export button, IVE will save the project one last time and it begins the exporting process. And there you have it. Once it is done, you can play the video. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to see a tutorial video made for any feature or procedure of IVE, don't hesitate to reach out to us at team at investigationve.com. Thanks again.